Hey everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel on this cold, snowy Super Bowl Sunday. Um, we'll be starting the game in a few hours, but I wanted to fit in a fun video first. It's a estate sale haul video, which I have not had in a super, super long time. Um, why? Well, I haven't left the house. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but it has been two months since I've done anything outside of my house with anyone. And I decided to go to an estate sale this weekend because this one, number one, it's run by a really great company and I know they have terrific protocols. But two, this house was full of everything from my childhood and I just needed to go to get a change of scenery and to see, kind of go down memory lane and hope to find a few treasures, but I was just really excited to go and I double masked and everything was fine. They run a really safe show and I was able to really spend some leisurely time traveling down memory lane. I knew ahead of time that they said that really wasn't a a lot of ephemera or antique paper and that that was okay with me I was just really going there based on the photo album that they had put online because it just looked like so much fun and in the end I always find paper no matter where I go I can find it we all own paper so it stands to reason that even in estate sales that say there is no paper I'm gonna find me some paper you know what I'm saying so I wanted to share what I found with you and just because it's fun and you know I love watching haul videos from other people so hopefully you'll enjoy this one as well. So just a little background on this estate sale. It was um, a couple but it, it was in the, the woman that just passed away. She was a home ec teacher and I think she had her kids about the same time that I was born so in other words her kids are my age so everything in the house that she kept and she kept it so nicely was all from my the time I grew up which was in the 70s and the 80s so I was a kid in the 70s and a teenager in the 80s so everything in her house that had to do with that time period was everything I grew up with so I just had such a ball being there and she kept everything so nice and so this if you're also a 70s 80s kids holla but also you're probably gonna love this stuff too so I'm gonna start first with some paper I found because in this non-paper house of course I found paper I first found these little match uh, book notepads and they are just like the cutest thing ever so I think what I'm going to do is scan the images so I can use them in my own, you know, crafty work. And then I can use these little books. There's only four in a box, but I got two boxes. These would be great little happy mail gifts. And the images are so cute. And look at the little mush mushrooms and the bunnies. Oh, I just, I just think they're adorable. So I got two boxes of those. And then I found a bunch of cards from the 70s. And if you're uh, somebody who is familiar with the 70s or grew up in the 70s, you will so get this. Like this like gingham and quilted with the bric-a-brac. We called it bric-a-brac. I don't know what trim you call it. And it's sort of this, this is not Holly Hobby, but this was the time of like Little House on the Prairie. And this was... This was the feeling of the 70s. This is very much the illustrations and the colors. You know, it's just very, very fun. And these would make great, like, card junk journals. Um, I just thought they were really cute. They'd never been used. They're in terrific shape. So that was fun. Then, let's see. What else did I find? Oh, look at these bright colored cards. These again, very, very 70s. Not my usual thing, but you know, for the more bright, fun journals, that would be really, really fun. And then, I don't know about you, but when I was in a kid, I had pen pals. 
and I had all these little stationery sets that people would get me maybe for Christmas, and this woman had a whole bunch of them. And I swear I had some of these. And look at the paper is foldable, so it's like you, you write the letter on this side, and, you, and then this folds and then you put on a stamp and I know I had a bunch I know I had a bunch of these and look at the how cute that pad is oh and look at they even have the the, thing, the uh, seals now you know it's old when it's under a dollar and it's like a random amount of cents 94 cents like you'll never you never see 94 cents on something now that was just totally something that was back in the day because a dollar was significant. So if, if you got less than a dollar, you were good. This is called um, Polka Dot Prints, and there's not much left to this one, but I love the scallop edges. This, I think, is adorable. Look at the little, look at the little chipmunk. Oh, just so darn stinking cute. And again, look at 89 cents at King's. This is again one of those polka dot prints with the little scalloped edges. Very pretty for a journal. And then this one is that same very 70s kind of little house on the prairie kind of thing going on. So those were fun, and then I found this stationery set that has some really bright colors that I might be able to integrate in like a boho journal, and they're embossed. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see, if I can get see the birds on them? They're like embossed birds. There's blue butterflies. I mean, these are very bright, but fun. Look at this one. That's that 70s avocado green. Ooh, the 70s. We were not afraid of color back then, let me tell you. No, we were not. Okay, so that is some of the paper I found. Like I said, she was a home ec teacher, so she had doilies like I never saw. I didn't get all of them because some of them I just didn't even know what I would do with. But I thought these were very pretty, these paper doilies. And she has the smaller circular ones, and I haven't seen this pattern before, probably because it's from 1973. And then, um, you know, she has some big, bigger ones. Oh, look at this. This is from Paperama for $1.29, and it's called, it's Gay 90 Certified. That's, that's a pretty funny packaging. I've heard of the Roaring Twenties. I've never heard of the Gay Nineties. Then we have some Royal Craft. So, doilies. Some more random paper I found. These are lunch bags from Filene's Basement or Feline's Basement, whichever you choose. If you're from around where I am, um, people said it two different ways. And this is interesting. So the Fi Filene's Basement had it marked down every single day if it wasn't sold like the charity price, which is interesting. So these are sandwich bags, but look at this, the lines on them. They're really like heavy duty too. These will make great paper bag journals. I got an entire full bag of them. And then look at this, this style. I thought that was pretty awesome too. You know, you know you're a junk journal maker when you find lunch sacks and you are like, doing a jig in the middle of the estate sale and people think that you are on something because why would you be so excited about finding two bags of lunch sacks? Then I found these French cocktail napkins that were super interesting. I'll just flip through them. There's like all these interesting pictures and they're, a, a, you know, a duotone and they're a very, very interesting 
like uh, texture too. So those were fun. And then of course more cards, lots more 70s cards that have never been used and I think are really, really cute. All right, I'm gonna go and show you a few books that I found. Um, I did find a lot of very useful things like file folders and accordion folders and a few clipboards. And I'm not gonna show those things because those are just materials. But I also found like this cute little graph paper notebook, which I could just even collage up and make into a cute little, um, a cute little journal. And then I found a few really cute books. This one I've had a bunch of. Um, this wild baby book is just really sweet. Really great graphics. Would make a terrific golden book journal. And then Stubby, which is one of those teletales. I, I love that little elephant. I'm such a circus person. And I love him. Um, I love the back of the teletales. And then this one is just like a little farm. I just thought the pictures were really sweet and cute. And then I found this. It is a, it says People's Coal Company on it. And it's old, very, very old. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't even looked at this, honestly. So I don't even know what the... It's a cookbook, the New England Cookbook. The latest and best methods for economy and luxury at home. Hmm. 1905, that's awesome. So I just had quickly flipped through this and each section has great artwork in it. But then look at old recipes. This is gonna, oh, you know it's old when it's like a peck of onions. Who the heck buys a peck of onions anymore? I remember a peck when I was a kid going to an orchard and getting a peck of, of um, apples by the peck, but literally cracking me up that this is a peck of onions. Oh, and 10 cans of chopped suey sprouts. What the heck are chopped suey sprouts? Weird. Anyway, this will be fun to go through. I think what caught my eye was, I think there's a section called invalids. That's cake. Look, it's coming apart. Preserves, fresh fruits and nuts. I thought I saw one that was just for invalids. Pickles. Chafing dish. Oh, my, my. And then there's some great ads in the back. So, oh, look at that graphic. Love that. Awesome. So they had some real, oh, this range was actually at the estate sale in the basement, this very same one. It was so cool. So yeah, this is like super, super neat. Can't wait to go through here, scan some of this stuff. Um, really cool, old, cool, old book. I also found, oh, I did find this little tiny guy too. It's not old or anything, but it's got some really cute Christmas. I thought if I fussy cut that out, that would be really great imagery for next Christmas for just like little, you know, just little collages and things like that. Very cute little, little book. One of the most fun parts of an estate sale, if you don't have them around you, is the hunting and the pecking, the digging through things to try to find treasures. And I found a few that I'm really excited about. I found this thing of trim. And yes, it's just like, you know, we called it brick brack. Rick rack, here it is, rick rack trim. But my mom, I swear, called it bric a brack, but I don't know. Anyway, this isn't that unusual. 
I love that it's still in the that it's unopened and that I can still, you know, you know, that it's still clean. But what drew me to it was some of the some of the stranger ones. Look at this Christmas one. I have never seen Rick Rack that has like little Santa faces on it. So that one was really cute. Um, there's a holly one in here. Isn't that really cute? And there's some red polka dots, some more holly. Oh, look at this. I didn't see this. There's bells. Look at this. There's, there's bells and more of that Christmas trim. That is really neat. What else is in here? More of the red polka dot and just a bunch of solid colors. But I just thought this was super, super cool. On top of that, I found a bunch of eyelets and they're really cool colors like colors that I haven't seen before. Like there's red and green and white and brown. And this like robin's egg blue. And I thought that was really handy and it had the little setter with it. And I have a um, crocodile, but just in case these are not a crocodile size, I figured I better take that. And then I found something that made me a little bit giddy and I really shouldn't because it's such a silly little thing but I have never found any of these before and I've kind of always been a little jelly when I see people with them they're those little tiny paper clips and I could never I've never found them before and I love these these are like the old oldie time ones that go just right on the tip top of the pages and they look just adorable on a page so I was super excited, and of course they come in a Sucrets, a Sucrets uh, throat lozenge tin, which totally brings me back to my childhood. And there was a little tiny little box of these these tiny ones too, which I thought those were super cute. So that was fun. And I found this wooden this wooden container, which if anybody knows what this is for, please tell me. It's got a strange top on it. So I'm, I thought maybe it, it was for hat pins or something, but I'm not 100% sure. And inside, it's just a bunch of strange little things, nothing really important, but these are what caught my eye. They're snaps. And they have like a mother of pearl on them. I want to say, did these go in buttonholes of sweaters to keep the sweaters on? I think it's possible, like, because it's like a set of them, you know? So would you put them in your, your cardigan to keep them? Well, no, you wouldn't because you have buttons for your cardigan. That's silly. What are these for? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me what these are for. Tell me what this box is, please. Should I be buying things I don't know what they are? <laughs> Heck yeah. And then this tin. Oh, buttons, just a boat, boatload of buttons. I haven't even gone through this, but it's always fun to buy just mystery buttons and just sprawl them out and look at them. And look at that, it's like a little moon or an eyeball, maybe an eyeball, I don't know. Just fun to go through buttons and look and, and see what's in here. I haven't even even looked yet, but there's definitely some, some goodies in here. So buttons and eyelets and brick brack, oh my. Let me grab some more stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna share with you some treasures that I found. Or what I consider treasures. So first I gotta start with this. I was just looking at this and I've seen them before. I even own a couple from I don't even know another 
another estate sale and it had this little thing here which I thought had to do with a tea bag I thought you drank your you know you made your tea and then you put your tea bag in here but the gentleman that helps with the estate sales who's an antique expert told me no this is what's called a mustache glass do you guys know about these mustache glasses were made at the turn of the century and in Victorian times and the gentleman dr could drink it by putting aligning his mouth so that his mustache was in this part of the cup I think and he could drink it was so that they didn't get their mustaches wet in their tea and coffee that just cracked me up and trying to picture a big guy with like a fancy mustache drinking out of this cup just I don't know I was like all right throw that in my pile I have a thing for mailboxes I guess because I love writing letters and first of all how great is this vintage box but this just is so cute to me it's a little tiny bank and it's a reproduction of a mailbox and I've seen these before but their legs are always bent and this one was brand new I just have to take these off and then this little this little key opens the door I think let's see if I can get it open oh it's turning the open sign a little bit but I don't okay let's watch Michelle struggle to open hello well this is supposed to open I will figure it out and inside then I want to be able to put like stamps or things but really it's just a cute little desktop mailbox and I will even if nothing else I'll have fun just having it near where my little, little letter writing station is um, okay moving on I found this really cute jewelry box and if you watched my last video you saw my little collection of um, pocket watch fobs and this is where I'm gonna put them in I thought it was perfect for that I love the decoration on it um, it's got a well, it's funny because it didn't have a key. And I said to the gentleman, do you, does it have a key? And he said, well, we carry keys with us. Every estate sale, they must pick up random keys. And they had a big basket. He literally looked at that hole and on his first try, picked this key. And sure enough, it works in this lock. So that was a stroke of luck. So if you ever go to an estate sale and there isn't a key, ask them. They may have extra keys for all kinds of things. Um, he said this is a furniture key and it's pretty standard. So always ask, you never know. And then inside it has this little piece that flaps up and goes in this part. And then this opens. Isn't that adorable? And it's like a tufted pink in here. I thought it was really cute. And of course, my estate sale buddy is Diane, as you guys know. And look what she found for me. This is like, this is me right here. If, if I had to be wrapped up into one piece of jewelry, it would be this. And she gets me. So that's there. And then I found this little ladybug one, which I thought was really cute. In a random stamp, because, you know, if it's paper, it's going in my pile. And then I found this little bracelet, which... I don't know it's just very delicate and sweet and I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but you know all these little treasures are things oh look at it see-through right is that can you see the light through it it's actually like you can see the light through it all these little treasures I'll somehow incorporate into a journal someday and then I found this little enameled pin that was a fan and it closes and it opens Well, it should open and close. And I just thought that was really, really cute for an Asian journal or a Victorian journal. I believe these are hat pins, 
they're not anything fancy and they're probably not old but you know they're bling and they were they were something I could use on journals I think and then these old clip earrings aren't that special but they had really okay cameos on them so I thought they would be fun to sort of maybe remove that and then I could glue the cameo to the front of a project so I just found a few little treasures to stick in that little treasure chest and I will be using this for my pocket watch and it closes and then I can lock it and I just thought that was really cute okay y'all know I love my tins I love my tins and I had this one I found and I just really love the shape and I keep all my little papers and stuff in here you know little tiny things on my desk for collaging and the estate sale I went to had like the same company just a different one and I was like yes please yes please put that in my file I love the shape I love the Oop. sorry I love the I love the pedestal on it I love the little blue it's got one little imperfection here but I can look past imperfections so that's cool with me and then this one I thought was phenomenal I love this one Diane found this one for me too because she's awesome that way and I love the silver on the top and it's like got like a ceramic inside like a it's painted inside and I just thought that was really pretty but then I got really excited because there was a box of tins that had never been used she had bought them for who knows what and th that will be a video for another day but one of them that I took out of here is this like tea Asian tea tin and I love that it's got the little flap and I love this one too so that is my little tins from the thing now hold tight because you're not going to want to miss the next one hold on Okay, everyone. Okay. Before I take this last thing out, you have to make me a promise. Please promise me you are not going to be jealous. I don't want anybody hating on me because of the things I find. So, I'm just warning you, this is like amazeballs. Are you ready? First, I'll show you the first part. What? Come on. Is this not the ugliest, greatest thing ever? So this woman took circus fabric and she made herself a custom, a custom lampshade, but it gets better. She then cut out things from paper, like Curious George. And look at this is just felt she cut out. And she cut out, I don't know, what is that, a bird cage? Are those kittens? And that's a horse and a turtle. These are paper, people. She glued fussy cut paper on top of this circus fabric. Then she added this crazy trim. All right, I am not saying that this is pretty or even, I don't know what to call it, but I had to show it to you guys. I had to get it, if nothing else, just to show you guys, but there's more. If you know me, I have like this fascination with the circus. I don't know why. I just love the circus. I was in an age where I would go to different circuses, Ringling Brothers, smaller ones, bigger ones. We had country fairs and I fell in love with the circus. Now, I'm not saying the circus is a great place and that they didn't export animals and people. And I don't want to go in the politics of the circus. 
but just for the good old fashioned feeling of the circus, I have this mis this thing for circus. So when I saw this lamp, and then I saw this shade, I thought, I just, do I buy this? Do I leave this? Do I buy this? Do I leave this? But when in my life am I ever going to find, and right now my mother's watching this video, she is shaking her head and she's saying, Michelle, you need to stop. I, I, I can hear you, Mom. I, I know what you're saying, but I, I can't help it. This guy, he spoke to me. I will probably not keep this. I know that's shocking, but I will probably not keep this. But I will probably get a nice lampshade for this guy and put him in my studio and I have a little tiny small circus collection and I will arrange things around him and it will be cute. It will be eccentric, but it will be cute. So I think that is that. I think I got a very interesting collection of items that might not be everybody's cup of tea, but they're mine. And I had a, a really fun time going to the estate sale. It was so great to be out and to talk to people, even if we were behind masks. And one other little funny thing happened where I have like an online friend, um, a gentleman who lives probably about an hour from me and we've never met and he collects paper too. And we go to a lot of the same paper auctions online together and we chat during the auctions. And he was at the estate sale yesterday and he recognized me because my profile picture on my Facebook, I have a scarf on and I only show my eyes and I had a mask on yesterday and we actually got to meet. It was so awesome and he's awesome and that was really fun surprise from yesterday. So I guess I was meant to be there yesterday. So anyway, that's my story. That's my stuff. Thank you for watching and I hope you ha guys have a great day. Bye.